No, she didn't, Aaron. The prosecution telling us she didn't want to speak in part because it would have no impact on the plea deal. And the prosecution adding that she basically wanted two things from today. One, for the father to accept responsibility for his actions, and the second, to begin the process of putting this all behind her. The day after what would have been his son's 16th birthday, his father was sentenced to state prison for causing his death. At the sentencing hearing for negligent homicide, Najia Wynn talked about his loss. The best gift God ever gave to me is my son, and the happiest day of my life is when my son was born. You know, and the saddest day and the darkest day of my life when my son is gone. Back in February of 2014, Wynn lost control of his car on the Everett Turnpike in Merrimack, striking the median and ending up on its roof. The crash killed his son, Kobe, who was 14 at the time. Wynn had also been drinking prior to the crash. Under the plea deal, he will serve two to seven years in state prison. Negligent homicide cases are some of the most difficult that we prosecute, but in this instance, the defendant killed his own son. Um, the state can't punish him any more than he's going to punish himself for that. But the prosecution added that the state needs to send a message that drinking and driving won't be tolerated, especially as we're in the holiday season. The plea deal also spares the boy's mother from having to testify. The defense says that's one reason why Wynn accepted the deal. But he didn't want to put his son's mother through a trial. This is Kobe's birthday week. He would have been 16. It was extraordinarily emotional for him. And this was a fair outcome. In court, it was also mentioned that Wynn has an immigration deal to, uh, uh, in, immigration issue rather, to deal with once he's released from state prison. That will require him to serve another six months in jail. Reporting live in Nashua, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.